Hey guys and welcome back to another stream. Today we're gonna have a look at another demo. There's loads of demos by the way currently on Steam so go check it out and uh, one of the demos is called Lightyear Frontier which in contrast to our usual zombie and survival hectic stressful games this is more of a chillax game where you have an uh, open world farming um, simulator basically what it is and you use mechs for it or you have your own mech for it that you can use and it's on an alien planet so on steam it says light your frontier is a peaceful open world farming adventure on a planet at the far edge of the galaxy climb into your versatile mech and start your new home on a distant planet with up to three friends as you farm alien crops so it's co-op basically as well which is always great build your own homestead and explore the untamed wilderness of the world so it is definitely not like paradise uh, welcome to paradise or anything like that it's a little bit more tame but let's have a look at it and see what it's all about so again this could be a very short stream depending how long the demo is or it could be a three four five hour stream who knows yeah so um i only played a little bit to see what the movement is like and the settings um let me know about the sound as always uh, if the background sound of the game and all that is too loud or not um, so let's start a new game world name kickstopia i'm sure you can find something to get kill if you try yes probably um anyway welcome to the stream if you watch it as a video i hope you're gonna have a good time with it um hell arms welcome jen dakota you were the first you're there so early i'm sure you can find yeah absolutely what's up earth's no good anymore something or some like you have taken off for the light here frontier you want a fresh start a new home oh it's actually a thing i completely forgot about that. Um, from the graphical style, it reminds me a lot of uh, what is that scrap game called? You know, scrap. Ah, oh, scrap. Not, what is? Ah, oh, I forgot what is the name of this. Where you're that little scrapper guy, um, you know, who has to uh, build everything and survive. Um, it looks very nice. I like the art style. Um, farming sims are always kind of a love, love hate relationship I have with them. Similar to four time strategy games, I love playing them. I am just not very good at them. So like farming sims, I love playing them, but as soon as it gets to the more complex stages, I, I just, I'm out. That's, uh, I'm just not good enough for them. So this, and I don't like pixel games. So things like Stardew Valley, they're fun to play, but they're not, I'm not playing them for too long um, because um, it's it's not just the art style, but there's a lot of things which, um, you know, Seth, each person has different preferences and the story. Um, but this game seems to kind of be in the middle ground for me, which makes this whole genre um, more interesting. And um, hopefully it will be something uh, along the lines of Stardew Valley, where we have purpose with the farming, where there might be other things that we can find on the planet to interact with. I have no idea what um, the developers have in mind for this, but the game looks beautiful. Um, scrap mechanic, that's it, exactly. It has a bit of the art style. Is there third person? I don't know is the short answer. Let me see at the controls. So it is controller compatible, as you can see here. Um, change camera, okay. No, that there is no change camera working here. So I'm using the middle mouse button. I click on it, I scroll it, so there's nothing working here. Um, it is co-op uh, as well, up to three other people. So I don't know if it's in total three or plus three other people, so in total four. I don't really know, but let's have a quick look and see if there's anything like change um, aspect or... I know that when you go into photo mode, you can see yourself. So you are actually a person, you have a full body, and this guy looks like the guy from... Um, ah, satisfactory, I think. They look very much alike. I wouldn't be surprised if they're the same model. I, d I think they look slightly different, but I love it. I love the farmer shirt. I love that he has a helmet on, but he, he chose the 
the the the thing you know the corn thing like that is that's just authentic farmer you know exactly you know you, you don't mess with this guy you know he's gonna pull out a shotgun and take care of you so the meadows that's where we are at the moment we have a map we have a map so okay we have quite a huge amount of biomes resource boost feed animals to restore resources basic fodder okay let's just get right into it i guess um let's explore it. oh Okay, so we have boundaries here. That could be just for um, the demo, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure a lot of games do that. Um, I know Enshrouded, oh, look at that. Enshrouded does that for um, the early access game. Oh, hip, 3R, there we go. Now we have our tools. Strike and grab, okay. Yeah, it, it, it reminds me very much of Scrap Mechanic from the Art Cell, which is lovely. I enjoyed that very much. Um, and, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, right click. Oh, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, that is cool. Finally, I'm getting through. That oh. was quite the tumble you took there. Okay. Luckily, your biometrics tell me you're A-OK. -okay. But before anything else, let's put that mech of yours back in one piece. Um, this popping up and down will make you sick. I'm sorry. Um, I have nothing to say about this shape. <laughs> Good morning, Kicks and everyone. Jeebers, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, Dakota, he made sure he had a hole for his straw. Exactly. Yeah, that's how space works. in a space suit, but you have to have a hole for your straw. Yeah. Okay, so we pick this up and we have to place it right there. Oh, okay. Can I, can I not? Bam! Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Okay, can we, we have to see if we can kill things. I think it's a peaceful kind of game. You know, what are they called? Cozy game? But we'll see. There we go. Now flip that sucker sunny side up and hop in. We got a planet to explore. So I, I love the photo mod in here. It's, it's great because you can see yourself. You can see the robot, you know, and the world keeps moving. So nothing is pausing when you do that. So just be aware of that. And I'm not even gonna say what this looks like, but um, his engine is impressive. He's packing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. My character is a little chunky. Yeah, just like me. Just like myself. I'm a bit chunky. Okay, find your tools. Mission started. Find the irrigation hose, find the seed shooter, find the sprout cannon, and find the vacuum harvester. Excuse my manners. One kind of stops expecting guests after 200 years. Name's PIP 3R. That's Piper for sure. Up there in the sky. That blinking dot is yours truly. But enough introductions. Let's get you situated and oh, make you there. at home. Oh, cool. So you're out in space. All oh, right, you were that little camera dude thing. Okay, sorry, sorry. Hang on, I have to take care of something first. I'm here in peace. Okay, they're running, but, but. Okay, hang on. No, I didn't want to pick it up. Okay, let me get out here for a second. We're gonna have to test something. <laughs> the way he just stands there is like, if I just close my eyes and stand here, he will not see me. <laughs> okay, so we can't kill the wildlife, can't, uh, we, and we can't kill it by accident either. So, mm, okay, we find a way, even if it means running it off a cliff somewhere and see if there's fall damage. Okay, so let's actually have a look and see where our tools are. So I'm assuming where all these colored clouds are, possibly there is something we have to get. Let me see if it says anything on the map. No, okay, let's just follow it. It does say change. Oh, you can. So if you click the middle mouse button, you can change the camera view. Can you also do that here? 
No, you can't do that. You can only do that when you're in the mech. So third person is... You, you will probably spend most of your time in the mech. So, um, there you go. He, can't, he has a little fire coming out of the pooper. I love it. Oh, this is the... Yes, there we go. We have a new tool. I love the way this is changing the tool. That's actually pretty cool. And you can change with the numbers. One, two. So two is this. Oh. Oh, excellent. Can we go for a swim? It never ceases to amaze. Magnificent mech. Those high-powered tools. And even that ship of yours. The farm mech project really was extraordinary. Such a shame that it got cancelled in the end. Okay, so can we dig a through this? Oh, we can. Okay. I like that when you hit things, you get recipes unlocked. Um, I, I originally, in the, in the past, I wasn't a big fan of this because I always felt like I'm missing out on something when I'm not finding a certain resource and I'm not unlocking a crafting recipe. I always felt like, oh, you know, I'm gonna get blocked and I'm gonna get stuck somewhere. But um, I'm actually, over time, kind of preferred that because it kind of forces exploration a little bit, you know? Which is nice. There we go. Look at that. Oh my god, we have so many things. I wonder if this is part automation game as well, because I love automation games when they're not too complex. I'm a big fan of automation games. Again, another thing like 4X and Farming Sims, I'm not very good at them. Once they get to a certain point, I just suck. Okay, so let's go to the... This cloud is probably the closest before I go over there. Yeah, let's head over there. Okay, there's sprint, yeah. Okay. And there's no sprint bar, so you can sprint infinitely, which is great. Where is... Oh, there it is. Oh, what is that? Oh, we got a uh, paint, blue color uh, flower sprout. Oh, this is awesome. Oh no way. Is that Oh this is this is how we plant seeds. Oh Oh okay. Can I reload different seeds? Okay, yeah, we're gonna look at the building menu in a minute. So this is the seed shooter. Okay. It always puzzled me why Earth is so quick to give up on the farm mech project. Sending us probes out to the edge of the galaxy to scan for What's hospitable that? planets. That was no small feat. Desperate times, I suppose. Oh, there's alien um, runes. Oh, look at that. Oh, I forgot to mention this huge door. It completely slipped my mind. Did some scans on it many years ago, but the readings were mostly nonsense. Huh. I'll be back. Okay, so we, we shall be back later when we kind of maybe get a better idea what's going on here. So there's some alien tech as well. So I wonder what the aim of the game is like. Um, I know um, there's some open world farming sims like uh, where you just basically make money and sell things and that's all. But I wonder if there's more of a story aim here that you play through or if there's maybe even multiple planets. I love the way that planet looks. An Earth-like planet with Saturn rings. I love it. I'm an explorer, so like finding recipes on the go. Can you build? Yes, you can. You can build a base in the game. You have to actually build a farm, I guess. So I'm not sure exactly yet what comes first. Um, you know, we're unlocking a lot of recipes right now, but there seems to be um, quite a few machines as well, an upgrade depot. An assembler, so ooh, yeah, there seems to be quite a lot uh, going on. I don't know when the game is coming out. I need to quickly check the Steam page. It's it's coming out on the 19th of March, 2024, 
into early access. So the demo is available right now. So this is what I'm playing. So you can check it out for yourself. And um, then in March, uh, they're coming to early access. So yeah, we'll see what the aim is like. Maybe there's other cultures here and you have to get certain resources, farm them to unlock progress or something, to get access to other parts of the planet maybe. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Here it's free. Now, I'm assuming it comes out on consoles as well, because it, it is fully controller compatible um, as well. Um, so we got a workshop shed unlocked. Oh, what is that tool? The seed shooter plants seeds in, in mouths. What is that? Oh. Oh, so what is the difference then between this one and this one? There's water. Oh, this one we can't actually destroy. We, pr we need the spike saw. I don't have that upgrade yet. So, um, actually my face is over it. So, uh, on the right hand side is only day and night. So, let me switch over to the right hand side. So, you can kind of see the um, tasks that the game slowly unlocks. So, you can see actually what you have to do. Um, well, I mean, abandoning the Latvia frontier for Mars does make some sense. It was a lot closer and would sustain Earth's population, at least for a while. Okay. There's also a lot of red smoke which we can't access yet, so let's head over here. Find the irrigation hose. So yeah, let's ha let's check out the building soon and uh, see what that is like. If it's like freeform building or if it's like just certain prefixed grids and stuff like that. So, oh, what is this? Time for some manual labor. Oh, it looked like something to jump on. Oh, unknown tool required. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Oh, you have to restore areas as well. Okay, that's interesting. So this should be the irrigation hose. Nice. Okay, we found all our tools. Just think about the thousands of people who initially came to the frontier. Can we Taking refill a the water? On this one way trip only to get offended. But for generations, oh, yeah. they've managed to thrive here. Your neighbors are quite tenacious, huh? Oh my god, you know what this reminds me of? The way the tools are and everything, and how you soak Look, things in and shoot them. What was this game called with those little round for nearly two centuries? Things. I used to play it a lot on the channel, and I forgot all about it. My daughter there. loved it. No need to answer. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, well, it's annoying me. I can't think company. of it. You were basically on an alien planet. And there was all these bouncy little balls, like, and uh, yeah, you had to breed them with each other. And uh, there was these boss versions of it that you had to defeat. It actually reminds me of that as well. <laughs> MK2 power armor. Yes, that's what it is. Make a bouncy house. So let's have a look and see. Um, it just says restore pine heights. Slime Rancher, yes, it actually does have a little bit of a Slime Rancher feel to it. Um, Pine Heights, okay, so Pine Heights is here. Oh, here we have to, so we have still to uncover more resources on this side. So each area has tasks as well and treasures and artifacts. Okay, okay, so this, this looks actually interesting. I'm not sure exactly how we could restore Pine Heights, but... I guess let's go and look at the building first. So if we want to build um, a place to sleep. That is a shed. Storage, good. And here's a house. Small tent, so we need more wood. Okay, so let's let's go and get working. Do we need to do everything with our robot or uh, can we do manual labor as well? 
Oh, we can actually do this. That's great. And oh, we have a light as well. That's pretty cool. It's nice and strong. I love it. Um, how do you pick things up? Genie Mac, I got a heart attack. So Nothing like a good night's rest. That mech of yours is looking good today. Those modifications you did yesterday really paid off. Let's get this show. So on you the road. only can pick up with your mech. That is interesting. Unless I'm missing something. Let's get a little bit more wood and uh, plant fiber. How's our inventory looking? Oh, okay, so it stacks pretty high, I guess. Yeah, that's good. Build map, journal, restore pine hide. Something has happened to this place. Clean up slime and weeds. Oh, so you clean it up, and then you can restore it, and then you can build it. So find your McDonald's, find your McDonald's tutorials, catch some Z's. Build a homestead building and use it to go to sleep. This will start a new day. Stone. Might as well clear this whole area here. Oh, actually, it's not that difficult to um, gather resources um, in the Mac in the third-person view either. Oh, pick him up. Oh, I'm over in combat, so there is a weight system. Yeah, there, 60 kilos. Genie Mac for a big mofo of a mech like to only be able to carry 60 kilos i guess um so let's see if i can Time build actually one outside. small tent yeah that's the only house kind of thing i have right now create mission oh oh look at that so basically this is pinning the recipes on it oh that's pretty cool okay so let's just build right here why not? Um, snapping, okay, so we can free mode or we can use snapping. I get it, I like it. And build bees back to construction menu. Okay, escape. How do we build? Add max, okay. Coziness, keen eye. You have a chance to find additional resources in the wild. Build decorations close to a homestead to increase its coziness. Build bigger homesteads for more coziness effects. effects. All right. I love that it's a giant sip. That's actually pretty awesome. I like that. Um, you always need what exactly, yeah. A, a game where you breed bouncy balls. Yes, Jen, exactly. Um, Hello there, Kicks and Chat. Killer B, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, a wood sign. So I don't, I don't know what the wood sign is for, but why is there an area of effect? Huh? What's the wood sign exactly for? Oh, I like the yeah. Okay. It really ties the fog together. Big D play. <laughs> Big D lives here. Um. That's my greeting message to anybody coming to my base. Oh, can we have multiple lines? Ah. Oh. Okay. There you go. Not welcome. Or even actually make it clearer. Stay away. There you go. You're welcome. Stay away. So if I do this and shoot it at my robot. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, hang on a second. Kind of have to do this now again. So we can collect all the stuff and then pow, shoot it right at his crotch. 
the secret max crotch pocket it's the pinnacle of technology <laughs> i love it okay just let me do another crotch shot here um okay let me pick up everything bring it over here how much what's the limit i mean what, what's the limit oh that's it ah oh. I can shoot it. I can shoot it in the butt as well, but I prefer shooting it in the crotch. Here we go in the crotch pocket. Pow. Okay, so what what else do we need to build? Um, we need to build a shed. We have a fence unlocked. Oh, a campfire. Oh yeah, I mean, gee, of course. There you go. So now do we have high cozy levels? No. Oh, look at that, the cozy level is going up. Excellent. So is it that we can, okay, hang on a second. The cozy level goes up with the fire. What is if we build two fires? And what if we build three fires or four fires? Did it go up? I think it went up, only a little bit. It's just here under the zero, so if we destroy this one. Do we get our resources back? Oh, we do. What's the cozy level now? Yeah, it's gone back down. So it seems that the default cozy level is pretty high, I guess. So you can just basically build the same thing and just repeat build it and that's it. Um, is the first thing that we built also giving us the same cozy level? Oh, so the first time you build something, it gives you more. Ah, okay, so they don't, yeah, I see, that's the way of making sure that you can't really exploit it, exploit it completely. So, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So the first time you build it gives you a good chunk, and then everything, every copy of it will be less. So there's diminishing returns. Oh, there you go, that's interesting. Kind of like a pile box, yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So let's see if we can build the shed. Um, I don't know what storage for if we if we have well I suppose how do we get stuff out of our yeah let's try this out so I'm gonna make um, a box here I guess uh, did that add to the cozy level no not at all I find storage very cozy it's like the more the more storage I have the cozier like open storage box okay so if i put everything in my storage box can i still craft can i still build no i don't have access to the resources what is if i'm outside no i can't okay so yeah i think quality of life things like that have spoiled us uh, a lot so let's get plant fiber and stone. Yeah, all the stuff we don't need. We keep all, all these things. Okay, so let's have a look and see. We need a shed. Where's the shed? Here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So everything in this area adds to the cozy level. So, okay, the shed is way too big for our area. So let's just put it here. Boom, baby. Build an oil presser inside a shed. What? An oil presser? We need more wood. The bigger the crotch, the bigger the pocket, yes. What's our weight limit now? 45.6. Okay, so it's actually not that bad. Okay, so let's see. Build an oil presser. 
Oh, okay, so they all have their little area here. Okay, so let's turn snapping on. Yeah, snapping on. Um, I don't know what else we have to build in the shed, so let's leave it like We that. can make good use of this. Okay, so increase efficiency. This construct has a chance to produce duplicates while crafting. Plant oil. Oh, so we just make plant oil from nothing. An oil made from plant material, but I don't have it. Okay. Oh, awesome. So this will unlock more crafting recipes. Oh, it just spits it on the floor. Okay. And now we got a clothesline for our metal suit, I guess, and a wash basin. Okay, fair enough. Is that does that keep crafting? Oh, you have to select it. Oh, okay. Let's, yeah, craft a few of them, I guess. Um, let's see. We also have to build a plot and a fodder. Oh. So the fodder oven we can put in either, I guess. Dude, what the hell? You're making out with my tent. Um, how do I know where things go? I mean, this looks like it goes to here as well, because, well... Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this around, actually, sorry. Because it keeps spitting it out to the neighbor side, so... Um. Okay. So we have to make sure that the front is facing. Okay, snapping. I'm not sure if that's the front. I think it is. And then we also need an assembler. But no, we need um, a plot. Okay, let's build this first. Okay, what do we have here? Basic fodder, nice. Um, straight. It spits it out to the front. Oh, it already crafted it. I want to see it spit out things. Oh, there it's on the ground. Okay, so it is coming from that, from that direction. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, build a plot, feed an animal three times. Okay, so how much fodder do we have? Five. Okay. So if I'm out... I still have access to the same inventory. Okay, that makes sense. I just can't pick this up. So for some reason, this is our inventory. Okay, so how do I use this now? Oh, do I have a machine gun? No ammo. Can I feed you now? Feed. Oh. You give me a stone. Okay. It's 
So are you my friend now? Are you working for me? You're enslaved now? Okay. So the storage is actually just character, end of story. So it's not actually the storage of our Mac. We just have to put the stuff in there so we can access everything. So build a plot. So if we go here, there, plot. Oh, let's make, oh, let's get some more fiber. Always build two plots. If we learned anything from anything, always make more than one. I love this. This is so great. I love that you have to actually shoot it over to the guy. Yeah, the top could be for cozy tent stuff, yeah. I love it. Okay, so if we look at my inventory, we can see I have 13 and 24. 24 fiber and 13 wood. Yeah, you can see it go up. It's brilliant. Um, you're full, okay. Let's uh, build a plot. It's actually, I like building Let's from the Mac, actually. Because you have kind of a bigger overview of things. So, now, yes, you see the line there, yeah? So the line seems to indicate that's where it can add value to or something, maybe. I don't know. So why don't we add the plot here in the back? And then we do a snapping. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we built the plots. What do we put in them? So you can see actually on the other side here, the cozy levels are going up. Okay. So you can see it here as well. I built a plot. Oh, that's a flower bed. That's not a plot, you idiot. So what's the plot then? Oh, a small plot. I spaced to grow nine plants. So what's this then? A small square blue flower bed. Okay. Nothing like a good night's rest. Don't forget to water your crops today. Otherwise, it'll be a bit tough for them to grow. Oh, so this doesn't go here, actually. Um, this can go outside here somewhere. Okay. Sure, let's put two of them here. Okay. I suppose we only really need one. Okay, so now plant a seed in a mound. I feed you. So you poop stones, I guess. Uh, seeds. Ah, I have polyberry seeds. Okay, so this was flowers, which is different. And this is seeds. Okay. 
No. Wow. I I scared it. It scared the living jeepers out of me. Okay, so we have to go here again and Let's select select the the pea shooter here. There we go. Oh, look at that! Bam, bam, bam. That's it. We have three seeds. Oh, let's get some more. I think this is what gave us more seeds. Um, how many more do we have? Five. And yeah, we want to fill this baby up. I like that you that you use the mag and oh, we need one more. There we go. Let me feed you. I supposed to feed three. There we go. Oh, aluminium rod. Genie Mac, they poop random things. That's great. Okay, good. Now we just wait for them to grow and then we hoover them up, I guess. Okay, so now we build an upgrade depot. Oh, we need more aluminium rods. That's probably why we're supposed to feed these guys. So we're feeding them. But the first two only gave me stone. Oh, a nest found? Was nests fed? What? Did we get there? Okay, we need one more aluminium rod. So when we fed it as a person, it gave us stone, but as the robot, aluminium rod. So maybe that's a thing. But you get different resources, depending on if you're feeding it one way or another. Is this the one? No, that's a different one. Oh no, he's sparkling, so we already ah, fetched this one. It. Ah, it's being sensitive. Stop it. <laughs> okay, you are still glowing. How about you? There we go, nice. And. Oh, it's only a stone. more food I need more plant oil you can only make three why what does it take to craft I didn't realize that it takes anything oh it requires plant fiber okay let's get more plant fiber oh no Yeah, plant fiber. We get loads of plant fiber from bushes. Uh, the colors are very intense. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I really like the way it looks. It looks really lovely. Um, it's supposed to be like a cozy game, like you know, which is um, nice for just chilling out, you know. Okay, so. I hope we can connect things to it so we can automate them. That That's really what I'm hoping. Squash. Okay, give me one, give, give me more aluminium. Aluminium, aluminium, depends which, which part of the world you're from. If you're from the European English speaking country, uh, uh, countries, you're, it's al aluminium. If you're from the United States, I don't know if there's any other place in the world that speaks English other than the United States that says aluminium. Well, it's not like they say it like this, it's actually spelled aluminium. So. Okay, what do we have over here? 
there's no more animals to feed things to. Okay. So the ground we can't dig up. Yeah, we, I suppose we just have to wait until they're hungry again. Unless we can find aluminium and mine it. I think we were able to mine aluminium. Okay, we got more blue flowers. Is there... Oh, there's... Over there. Is that fall damage? Mm, not really. That's cool. Oh, we need... Yeah, we need a spike saw. And I bet you we can only craft a spike saw once we have um, the upgrade depot. Oh, what is that? That looks like a nest. I already fed you. What is this? There we go. Oh, they're all still glowing. Oh, there's a building? Oh, oh that's my building. Your mech scared the daylight out of There we go. Oh, we got a polyberry. Okay, new recipe polyberry oil. We're, we're just not getting what we need. Um, let's see if we can get it another way. Does the game tell you where you can get certain resources? Oh, there's a price on it, so we can sell resources as well. So this could be a money maker. Oh, look at that. Aluminium. Can we buy and sell stuff? Oh, that is awesome. Okay, resource boost. Extra resources restored tomorrow. Treasure seven. Polym, aluminium rod, and there's something else. So this is interesting. They all have mu so this is like slime rancher where certain resources, except they're not slimes, uh, you know, go up and down in value. Okay. Yeah, I suppose let's go to bed and then hopefully on the next day the guys um, will be more chill. Resource boost because we have one nest. So the nest was unlocked because we fed these guys. Nothing like a good night's rest. What? The decorating you did yesterday really lit up the place. It's really beginning to feel like a home. Wheat seeds? What? Oh shit! Yes, there's combat! Oh no, vacuum harvester required. Oh, okay, so because there's no animals, like... Um, oh, awesome. They do it like that there's like... A, because it's a farming sim, it, there's like an attack of weed. Okay. Oh no, it destroyed my staff, you little bastard. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't realize we can actually get them from the air. Is that it? Nice one! Okay, so we're gonna have to protect this stuff. So there is a oh, I didn't did I didn't notice that castle before. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know I'm over in combat. Um, so this is interesting. So you get resources from this invasion. Oh, actually, there we go. We have more aluminium. Oh, alu, alu, sorry, 
In this case, it's aluminium. Okay. Alum no, it's aluminum. I, I apologize. So in this case, it's aluminum. I actually didn't look at the spelling at all. Um, so let's put this away and this away. And let's see if we can build the depot now. Upgrade depot. Yes. Okay, so the upgrade depot doesn't go in any specific box here, I guess. So we can put it anywhere. right here okay what now collect stone collect aluminum rods get an upgrade in an upgrade depot okay. oh it's for us an upgrade oh that is so cool so we can upgrade our mech okay. oh wow look at this We can upgrade the legs and the arms and the uh, and the, the the crotch pocket. That is cool. Well, right now I don't have anything else. Like so, th this is actually pretty awesome. And then you have um, uh, what is this game? Sangrath. It's a open world um, farming simulator on an alien planet. It, it's kind of has. It reminds me a little bit on the way it plays and everything between Slime Rancher and... There's no slimes, but it's just the way you collect the items and everything. Slime Rancher and Scrap Mechanic from the art style and everything. So it's it's more of a cozy game, but it has it seems to have a lot of things in it. Like It's coming to Early Access on the 19th of March and the demo is out right now. So that's why we're checking it out uh, during the... Whatever they call it on Steam, the, the whole demo season. Like we're, we're trying to check out a few demos. Um, you know, it always gives you a chance to do a one-off of a game that you might not cover when it comes out because it doesn't fit the channel necessarily, but it gives everybody a chance to see it. And a lot of you guys might actually play these games, even if they're not really popular to be watched on the channel. So, but at least they get a bit of exposure as well, which is always good. So farming while using the seed shooter, hold to lock on and press the fire. The seed shooter can lock on and automatically hit up to nine mounts. That is awesome. So if I get more aluminum rods and here's the spike saw, so we need more aluminum rods. This is awesome farming, gathering, and it seems that you can unlock everything, so it doesn't have to be one or the... Yeah, this is so much reminds me of Slime Rancher, the way you had to upgrade your tools to get... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is actually really fun looking. Pathmaker allows the mech to freely create paths on the ground, so you have complete freedom to build your own kind of homestead properly. Field plow allows the mech to freely create fields of mounds on the ground. That is awesome. That's pretty sweet. And you have to have the resources uh, unlocked, um, obviously, before you can build them. Okay, so I'm very interested in this. This is awesome. Get an upgrade in the upgrade depot. So what's the cheapest upgrade we can do right now? I think we should just go for the aluminum rods. Resources should have respawned. So hopefully we can uh, get them from behind us. Let me, let, let me think. Sense of direction has forsaken me. I think it was over... Here? Yeah, here. The east, yeah. Oh, what's our weight limit here? 48. Oh, yeah, we have to put some stuff in the box. So, how does transfer work? If I shift left click, it goes in here. Can I split a stack? Oh. Okay, so if I have this, oh my god, look at that enshrouded, look at this, <gasps> what is that? Enshrouded devs are like all, what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. It's, I'm not a mean-spirited person. Okay, let's go. Every game is like, 
split stack slider <laughs> in Shrouded Devs. What is this magic? Uh, Slime Wrench is really funny. It's, it's a lot of fun, Jen. It's um, basically they have for each different type of, of resource, like in the game, like a slime. And you basically are from a hunting uh, company, you know, <laughs> and your job is to meet a daily quota and all that. Oh, my God, is that monsters that looks vicious. over there. So, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was able to get some from here earlier, though. Where did I get them from? Yeah, there. Oh, so this one... Oh. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tool. So my actual current saw is... Do I, can I see my weapons, actually? My equipped tools, whatever they're called. I, I don't think I can. So, but I already had the saw, so that's a tier 2 saw. I'm an idiot. Okay. I could have done it the whole time. Oh, this must be another creature nest. Yes, 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 they're another creature. So they, they, we got one out of the three nests. And now we have different creatures. Okay. What's our weight? Ah, uh, aluminum is light. So this is another nest. It's a rat scallion nest. Okay, so we're gonna have to get more food for the rat scallions. And then we have another nest here, I guess. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to carry some food around with us. I, I, uh, uh, I try to pronounce it correctly, Sandcraft, in the sense that if it clearly says in the game aluminum, I will try to remember saying that. If it says aluminium, I will say it like that. I mean, I'm European English, so I would always say aluminium by default. But um, I try to kind of stick with the game's way of doing things, unless it's like really crazy words that don't really exist in real life. Um, so we have nice fodder here as well, basic fodder. Okay, so plant fiber. Let's do an upgrade. Okay, so now we can get spike saw power. Increases the power of the spike saw, allowing it to break stronger materials. Bomb. Okay. And then we have seed shooter. Yes, I definitely want that. So we need five plant oil. Um, yeah, I can get that from here. You stay there. I'm just gonna take some of that, put that back. Oh, so this has a limit as well. Oh, okay, so in this case... Um, so storage doesn't really belong into a square it doesn't add a cozy level so we can put storage over here for for the farm yeah that actually makes sense so we can put a storage right here we can make good use of this and then in here i can put all the stuff that we use to make um, those resources with which in this case is plant oil I wonder, if we put a, ch a chest in here, will we be able to access um, the stuff in the storage? Um, can we shoot it into the storage? No. Okay, so let me put the chest here. See if that makes a difference. Oh, that would be so sweet. That would have been so nice if they could have let you do that. 
because that would make sense to me that they don't allow it uh, what if you don't have it anywhere special but okay in that case i'm not wasting my space so okay let's put the chest here again where we had it sorry i just needed to try out if there was a way of uh, allowing the machine's access to it Oh, it's al al uh, aluminium, yeah, I thought it was good, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, it's just, I'm, I'm making my effort. I actually like that you can see what you can craft here, even though we haven't it unlocked. Look at the craftable um, available resources here. That is crazy. Wow. A furnace request board oh we might get missions then because i'm assuming this whole thing is going to be about making money yeah like an economy um thing at the same time so let's um yeah let's put um, someone here now in a second let's queue up one two three four five six seven Yeah, that, there, there probably should be a way of picking things up when you, as a person as well, unless I'm missing something. Yeah, I don't see, yeah, there's nothing really. Like you should be able to put it into your storage box. But you can't. Because now I have to shoot it in there first and then I have to go into my storage and take it out, if that makes sense. Oh no, I don't. I can't. But we need only five, isn't it? So let's take half of that. Put the rest of these in here. Okay. And actually, this goes into my normal storage. So this goes here me that and the food as well and I want to queue up some food as well basic fodder oh plant fiber so if we need to feed the nests that's another three six i guess and we have two so yeah let's make uh we could make 20 let's make about 10. yeah and then we can put that in here we have 12 on us and yeah let's go and upgrade oh there's another one now we need some aluminum. So now we should be able to upgrade the seed shooter. Nice. 18 mounts, that's awesome. And we don't, yeah, we haven't made poly berries yet. So we can't really do that. Uh, yeah, so this is all we can upgrade right now. Very good. Quickly go to bed before the day is over. <laughs> it probably was one minute away from daytime. Oh, you can if you build a card. You oh, that's awesome. Ahead? I can't stop admiring those nice um, decorations you built yesterday. Yes, yes, uh, Wally, really sorry about that. that kind of thing. It's not multiplayer, such as co-op, so 
I assume it means you start a game, you can talk to your friends and let them in or something. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but uh, co-op makes sense here, actually. How long does this... Oh, we have to water it. Oh, I didn't water it. I think I have to water it. Yeah. That's why nothing was growing. Oh, that is so cool. And then you can increase the size and everything. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue. So, we did an upgrade. What is the next thing we have to do? There's an assembler here. Could build an assembler. Just to see what it's like. Is the assembler something? Yeah, it goes into here, actually. Oh, now we can do the aluminum parts, noxious spores. Okay, so noxious pods. So those noxious pods, we can't plant them yet. They're just pods. So but we need seeds. And we didn't get any seeds from them, them yet, but we were able to catch some, so we could theoretically craft some noxious spores safely contained. Oh, that's why I kept getting two every now and then. It has a chance to uh, double craft. Okay, so there's nothing anymore here um, on missions that we have unlocked. So I'm assuming now what we want to do is uh, go around and explore a bit. But first I want to feed those two guys. And I also I want to figure out how to do it. Oh, palm drop. Yeah. Oh, nice. Does that mean it fills up the pond? Oh, shit. Oh, that is awesome. So we've done something nice now. Feed animals to restore resources. Oh, so we have to feed them every day. To restore resources. So what happens if we feed all of them on one day? Let me just head over here to the rat's nest. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I know I hear you. Uh, nest 03 here. But we had it on one tree, so very strange. Yeah, we don't want to go Pine Heights. We want to head um, over here again to the rats. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the nest directly. That's my plan. And see what happens. Okay. There's a rat's nest over here somewhere there. So that's a very strange mechanic. So is it these creatures which, ba which basically... Oh, you can see the resources are not there. The wildlife here is amazing. So there has to be a way of automating that because that can become very manually grindy then at some point. But this is only the first biome. So let's uh, feed all the critters here. Get the aluminum. There's the other nest. And then apparently there's seven treasures here, which we're gonna have to start looking at. Oh, this one is full. So how am I gonna get this three three? I probably have to feed animals. Maybe that's a bug. But it still says... Um, ah, come on. I want to just love you. The wildlife here is amazing. Yeah, I don't know. That that looks like um, 
a bug that I can't feed the other one. But there's also one more resource we are missing. So I wonder if it's maybe the different trees. Yes, softwood. There we go. Is that... Oh, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. It's pretty hard to cut for being something soft. Um, okay. It looks like there is maybe some strange resources here. No, that's just bush. Bush. And stone. What about this? No. So we're now in Pine Heights again. And Pine Heights, to clean Pine Heights up, we need to figure a way out for these things to... Irrigation hose required. Oh! Oh, that is awesome! And we also got that earlier. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's do that. So let's get... Um, fill up the water again. I wonder what happens when we have it all cleaned up. We didn't get anything to pick. Oh, there's a new flower. Nice. We now have red flowers. And a new paint recipe. I don't know how we can use paint. Maybe we can use the paint on our uh, Mac. We're already 30% there. Oh, okay, is there any water nearby here? Oh, we don't know. Okay, it's still full of slime, so let's go down to the... So we want to upgrade our water very soon, I think, uh, so we can use more without going back to the lake every time Is he washing blood into the lake? No, I'm soaking the water out. So we need access to the other resources as the seeds. I mean, I know we got them from the attackers, from the, the, the wheat attack, but we obviously have to find the biome. I'm assuming once we clean up this biome, uh, that's the resources we find here potentially. Oh, there's, there's another lake over there. Very good. And there's also a feeding thing. Which is pointless right now because we haven't actually gathered any resources here. So respawning them makes no sense. There we go. Oh, there's something new over there. Geo shard. A resource discovered. Nice. A geo shard. Whatever that is for. Okay, let's actually head over here first and see if there's any more to clean up. We're doing pretty well. 57%. Ah, crap, crap. Uh, this game isn't violent, yeah, it's just you. <laughs> oh no, I mean, it's a nice change of pace, and uh, I think these type of games, while they might not be suitable to make a stream series out of it, you know, 
I think it's very good to show them at least because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who enjoy these type of games at least in their downtime. I mean, I know that I definitely will play this for myself at least um, in between playing my Necromancer and Diablo 4. Man, I'm just, I'm, we're gonna do a Diablo 4 stream uh, at some point this weekend. Um, I want to try the Pure Summoner build uh, from Pawnfog or whatever his name is, Pawnhog. It looks amazing. I'm playing the Blood Search build in the moment and holy shit, the Necromancer is an absolute beast right now. Stocktail Nest. So we can't feed this yet because we don't have any information on the area. Oh crap. Whoa Ooh. there. We fell over. Awesome. Time for some action. Just flippity flop and that's it. Okay, let's go and find the rest of the dirty blood looking jelly. You still play Palio occasionally? I can see that. Yeah, I think everybody needs a game where where they really don't have to think much. Uh, well, if their skill level for, for X game is, is, is good enough that they don't have to think much, yeah, absolutely, that could be relaxing to you as well. Like XCOM can actually be relaxing and all that, yeah. But um, in general, everybody, I think, has to have that game that they can sometimes just mindlessly, you know, spend some time on, you know, when you get the rare moment of some downtime. I know my wife has a, has a, has one or two games on on her phone, for example, that she actually has some space, mental space for for a second, that she plays on, you know, and so and she has she has one of them which she I think is already like level thousand or something like that. It's like she likes playing those brain puzzles where you have to turn things or take liquid out of things to make them even amounts or something like that and. She likes to play that in her when she has the odds downtime. I like that they put these things near water sources as well, which is really nice. You don't have to constantly run your ass off to refill. Oh, look at that, we're nearly done. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Region restored. Nice. Whoa, that seems to have done the trick. The ecosystem in this region is adjusting itself lickety this split. In all my years, I've never seen anything like it. I sent no worries. reports to Earth. Telling them I'm this human, I'm used to terraforming humanity. environments. There just might be hope for this planet yet. Usually for the worse. Okay, so now we're gonna Would have to. Oh. My scanners weren't lying. There really is someone out here in this corner of the yes. frontier. The name's Dolores, but my friends call me Lola, and I'm your friendly neighborhood merchant. Oh, I'm hello, Lola. Lola. Yours to my trading route. Catch me there if you need anything. All right, I will do. Let me build a landing pad for you now, so you can plow down your ship, and we can sell some goods and make some money. This is awesome. So we cleared this. I don't know if it was a time thing. Could be that day four automatically triggers building the merchant dock. But let's have a look in fences. Okay, okay, that's for cozy levels. I think this is all for cozy levels, isn't it? So I, I, I wish they would have some descriptions here where a, li a little bit more in depth where they say, uh, okay, it says a cozy campfire. Yeah, but it, like what is exactly all under cozy? Oh, red crystals. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And is there fast travel between the buildings? Like, if we have multiple bases, is there multiple? Is there fast travel points? We have to check that out as well. Okay. Oh my God! Look at that. A geo chart is worth four hundred and forty-six dollarinos. Oh baby. And we have some seeds here as well um, for sprouts. Um, let's put all that stuff away. Oh, okay. We're full. All right, let me take out all the flower stuff and nonsense and tr grows into a tree with green leaves. Yeah, we should probably plant that again. Why can we not? Oh, 
How heavy is this? Oh, it's all my... Ah, oh, crap. It's all my aluminum. Oh, we need bigger boxes, dude. We, we need... Yeah, we need big boxes. Big boy boxes. Oh, we did. Wooden crate from Softwood. Oh, that is considered... Uh, cozy, I guess. It actually increased the cozy level quite a lot. Look at that. It went from here to here. Wow. So I wonder how much... I'm. Uh, if I move my face over to the other side for a second. So you can see the cozy level there. So if I uh, build another chest, will it add as much? No. It didn't... Oh, sorry. Hang on. I didn't build it yet. Ah, oh, we don't have any more softwood. Okay, let me let me go quickly and get some soft wood. I think soft wood was somewhere over here. Crap, where was the soft wood? It was somewhere where we started, like over here. No. Oh, I don't remember. I have no sense of directions. I think it was over there towards the other biome. was the ugly looking trees because I want to see if it adds to the cozy level ow okay I think it's the trees maybe up here oh wow I didn't even notice it this is yeah that big building I keep Let's see yes soft wood no! Time for some manual labor. Yeah, we definitely want to upgrade our tools to do this a lot quicker. See if we can feed those guys here yet. I don't want to actually waste. Oh, that's a new day. Okay. So the meadows, we got two nests fed, and we got two extra resources restored in this region. So we got the basic resource recovery, and oh, what is this? Pine Heights is now restored. Okay. I love the chill music. That reminds me of the fishing games. I I love fishing games, dude. Oh man. My favorites on the PlayStation. I don't like the ones that are out now that are all free to play with all the stupid money shops. But I really love the, the ones where you had competitions and everything. Oh. Hang on. Wakey, wakey, partner. Restoring that region yesterday felt great. Maybe there are some more good to be done around here. Restoring Keep all the regions out, could unlock that door. That's what that probably is. Oh, this one requires nice fodder now. Okay. Flatten it all. Yes, Todd, exactly. It's like, hey, I'm human. Your planet is getting terraformed, industrialized, completely destroyed. Okay, let's actually see if the cozy level will go up on this chest. So, builds. So this is the current cozy level. Uh, it went up quite a lot with the first chest. So let's see. No, it didn't go up again. So you can see that here when we remove it, look at the top right, that is the cozy level difference, okay? And when we built the first chest, it added to the cozy level. There you go. But the second chest didn't. So they, I like that, diminishing returns and all that. Anyway, this one still only has 60, so what's the point? But I suppose it uses less space, I guess. So let's uh, remove this loser because he's too big. Um,
Okay, so here we're gonna put this, and that's pretty much full, so this will be just for that, which is nonsense. Um, here we're gonna have um, this wood and our wood and the stone. Whatever that is. And over here. Oh, do we have more softwood? Ah, no, let's leave it, it's fine. So here we're gonna put this and this. And then we need another chest. Oh, yes, I have more. Oh, look at that! That's awesome! It grew! Um... That is so cool. And we got nine seeds. And I think we upgraded our plow thing, so we should be able to shoot nine. Right shot. Oh, so we can. How, how was it? Hang on. I thought we upgraded it to shoot nine. It. But that's nearly as slow as just doing it individually, I guess. But it depends how fast you can move and select them. Okay, fair enough. So um, over here, I'm gonna put this tiny little nugget. Okay. And we're going to put all the this stuff in there. And I want to do the trees. How can I do the trees? There we go. Pow! Pow! These guys will grow into trees and give us wood. So maybe we can get some saplings from the other trees and then we can bring all the different type of trees to us and make like a tree farm for all the different type of trees. That would be sweet. Okay, so um, on this map, we still have a resource we haven't uncovered. So I suppose let's check out the north side here. Yeah, let's head over here and see if there's anything we missed. Oh no, that was where the rats were, yeah. Yeah, there's no point restoring the resources if we're not mining them, but where can we find... Oh, maybe here? No, that's just a bush. Yeah, that's not giving us anything else. What about these different colored trees? Do they give us anything? A yellow tree. No, just wood. Okay. We're still in the meadows here, I think. And this is giving us a uh, soft wood. Yeah, pine sprout. Is that it? No. Oh, what is that other resource? This bothers me now. Um, this one we already uncovered, but it belongs to a different biome. Unless... Nope. What about the um, purple tree? Oh, cave? Oh, can we get to the purple tree? Oh. I don't know if we can get to that. I don't think so. enough okay. 
we haven't been here before, so let's check out this side as well. Oh, open the shard uh, and see what you can craft with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, I didn't see the text. I'm gonna go back. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's something new. Oh. This is one of my favorites. Oh, new creatures. Okay. Not sure they appreciate a stomping mech. Well, they're better. Oh, this is where we require the saw upgrade. So maybe we get diff. Ooh, what is that? A seashell? Hold on a second. Maybe we can get that as a resource. Ah, you scared it. No, it wasn't the missing resource. Oh, what is that? Leave the mech behind if we want to get close. Oh, what are you talking about? And it goes through here without the mech? No, so this is kind of sealed off. Can we swim without the mech? No, okay, puts us back into the mech. Yeah, I'm not sure which resource, which other resource I can find here that I haven't found yet in this biome. Oh, maybe it's those. These guys look purple. Maybe it's those guys. Poor thing. Yes. The mech scared the daylight out of them. So this is the poly berries, and I think this is the purple berries over there. And if we can get the seeds, we can start farming them as well. Oh, they're still blue, they're not purple. Can we fast travel to our house? No. Oh, that nest was the third nest. Okay, I see. So the one nest we found, the very first one, is just not part of the whole system then, I guess. Oh, what is this? Okay, hang on a second. Yes, there's the crystals. I love it. Nice. Oh, that is brilliant. I'm assuming some resources respawn regardless. Now we can build the, um, the space dock. I think we have a nice big space over here. landing site oh why can we not oh there yeah so we just let's put it a little bit away from everything Okay, we need the stone and we need uh, the aluminum. Ooh. 
stone. Oh, I can't jump. So when I'm over in combat, I still can walk, which is good. But I can't jump. Oh, that's great. So we don't have to worry about getting over in combat. Wait for the merchant to arrive. Oh, baby, that's going to be awesome. Is there move stuck? Oh, no, it just, yeah, it just moves automatically. Yeah, that's not good. So what can we do with that? Um, like you said, if we select that, it doesn't show us what we can craft. There's nothing we can craft with it. So I think it's just for selling, to be honest. I don't think it's useful for anything else. Um, seashells are worth $150. Are you insane? That is great. And the crystals are worth only a little bit. But we can make red crystal dust, flower press, oh, flower press, and a grinder. So I wonder if we can make seeds from things with a grinder. Did we unlock something like the grinder now? I guess that's just to make a flower bed. So our cozy levels should go up with that. Uh, that's just to make it look nice, I guess. Yeah, cozy levels up. And we can plant just some random. No, we don't want to plant a tree. Oh, we actually got one of those special trees. sure what we're gonna do with this um, so we can't really plant anything with this shoot it there will it just grow I guess in the wild okay I guess that's how it works so if we put this and this here they will just grow there I guess okay we also forgot to water it do we have to wa oh we have to water these guys as well So we're starting to get into a routine where we have to do certain things every day and um, let's go to bed and see if um, we have the merchant land on the next day. The seashell stealer, yes. Hey, hope you're well this fine morning. I can't stop admiring those nice decorations you built yesterday. You've really got an eye for that kind of thing. Okay. And while we wait for the trader, let's actually build those this these things here. And see if they add enough to make it cozy cozy and see what happens. Okay, we're level one cozy. So now we have a keen eye effect. Um, so the keen eye effect is you have a chance to find additional resources in the wild. Okay, so can we get another level? Let me get one of those bottles. I think we only need ow. I think we only need one. We need one more wood and one of those.
So let's check out the other biome as well. Um, let's just build the last thing here. Um, oh, merchant arriving. Oh, awesome. Let me get my stuff to sell for you. Um, oh, I have it on me. Okay. Hey, dude. Look at that. That's awesome. So, let me just photo mode. There we go. Look at that. I love it. Ah, damn it. Stupid controls. There we go. Nice. Great screenshot. And let's see I'm what we have. Make your pick. So you have wheat seeds. Okay, let me sell first. And let me sell you this. One trash is. You know the life. And actually, I'm I, I'm gonna sell you this as well. You have a hard bargain. I like it. We can buy a vintage windshield, a parasol. Oh, that's awesome. So let me buy some wheat seeds, actually, and seeds I don't have. Oh, what is a burlap sack? Three sacks made out of the finest fabric can store resources. Oh, I'm curious about that. Oh, a cart. Yes. Let's buy that. Let's buy... A burlap sack. Deal. Let's buy Deal. wheat. That, that, I think that gave us 50 wheat. No, just one. Okay, so she had 50. Okay. And let's get another four, so let's have five. Actually, nine, I guess. So let's make another four. Coming so that we can right build up. the whole thing. And it's a pity she doesn't sell any of the... Um, other berries, the noxious berry seeds. Ask for a ride home, exactly. Um, well, you know what? We're gonna buy. Hang on. Contains vintage leg like left and right, so let's buy that. Deal. Let's buy the arm. Sold. Let's buy the engine. Coming right up. And let's buy that. Sold. Resources, mech parts, blueprints. Um, 120, 100, yeah, we have the money, so we might as well. Nice choice. Deal. Catching. Deal. Nice choice. Okay. See you. Oh, that was it. Okay. So, we got the cart now. I mean, you can continue playing this, I guess. Yeah, but we got a cart now. Um, did we get just a blueprint for the cart, though? Let me see. Oh, we got a barn. Oh, we have to do that. We have to build a barn. We got the burlap sack, which is just for resources. So it's another way of a chest. So that could add to the cozy level, I guess. Um, let's just put it here. Why not? Make it look like a little bit more artistic. Oh, our cozy level doesn't go beyond number one, I guess. Yeah. So... cart for that we need wheat okay so let's make another plot oh actually let's use this plot let's let's hoover all that up then let's go to here and can we change oh i think we can only change it here when we go to here and then we can press r yes Boom, baby. I love it. Let's give it some water. And let's put this stuff in here. And the seeds. What about these guys? They're not fully grown yet. I actually have no idea. Are they?
No, we got the sprouts. So how much do these sell for? Because that's our first kind of business model, isn't it? Look at that, 49? Okay. So let's sell them all. And that's how we make our first money. So I'm hoping mo every two or three days maybe Hola. she comes along See here. Anything you like? And we can sell polyberry seeds. All of them, 930. Look at you that, boom, money. I like money. It. So that is pretty awesome. Bye now. Now let's put the vintage mech parts on. Don't forget where you parked it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, mech customization. What? Okay. Oh. Where'd it go? What? Where is it? Oh! Uh... Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. So how does it look different? Oh, look at that. Okay, so... I love this. Um, uh, vintage arm left. Vintage arm left. I love the shiny on it. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so let's uh, take this. Take the crotch pot. Take the windshield. Bye. This is so cool. Look at the poor dude. Can we actually go into it now? Oh, that would have been too funny if we actually would have been able to enter and fall all over the place. Um, so vintage, 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 vintage. Okay, well, there's one. There's the leg. There's the crotch part. Look at this, this looks so fancy. We're looking spiffy, my man. We're looking amazing. That looks awesome. Looking like a classic vintage tractor. Oh, we have a roll, control height. Oh, oh. How do we change those values? How we change the focal length? How we do that? Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know what the control. Oh, here Q and E. Oh, that is so cool. We have depth of field. 
Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm loving this. Slowly coming into focus, slowly coming to focus. There you go. Oh, that is so cool. Stamp? Oh! Oh my god, you can make literally your thumbnails with this. This is so cool. That is awesome. That is such a cool feature. I'm loving this. Uh, yeah, he's a little farm tractor, I guess. So we still can do some things. Yeah, we we can. I want to check out if we. Oh, we can't enter this. There's bars. Yeah, so we actually barred from entering this. This is the only two biomes we have access to. There's still some resources we haven't found. Yeah, there may or may not be in there. But we also can make noxious spores and aluminum parts. Can we make raspberry oil, whatever it's called? Yeah, polyberry. Yeah, so we can actually do that. So if we build another plot. There. Um, let's actually make it snap. And then we're going to take nine of those. Look at that. to see it grow up. Ah, no. Don't soak him. Excellent. Now we just go sleepies and hopefully it's grown on the next day. And then we can make some poly stuff and then we can upgrade more. So there's still a few things we can still do. Are we going to get attacked again today? Nothing like a good night's rest. Those new mech parts made a world of difference. The best looking ride in the frontier for sure. Oh, look. We got wheat. Yes, we have new stuff unlocked, baby. A haystack. Oh, come on. Really? Let me see that. I love this. I, I, I don't care. Like, this, is, this game is great. It wouldn't be a farm without a hay bale, yeah. It wouldn't be a farm without a haystack. But you need kind of a piece of metal for needle. Otherwise, it's not going to be a real hay bale. Um, so these fences. Um, can I build them around this area here? Let me see. Oh my god, that is amazing. Look at that ease of placement. That is so awesome. Oh. It's, okay, okay. It's blocked, I guess. Um. So the merchant comes every day. Yes, snapping mode works like a charm. Love it. Okay, so now all we need to do is add the stone. That is so cool. So you can build yourself a nice little farm here. I, I still don't know how to plant those things in there. Can we access that directly maybe? No, I have no idea. Maybe that doesn't work yet, I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. They're nearly grown. 
So these guys take quite a while to grow. Oh, I thought they grow into this, but it looks like you can just pick them then, and then maybe they just regrow on the spot. That would be cool. Okay, so let me see. Um, yeah, we want to make that poly stuff now. Poly raspberry. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, make maximum. the weed so the nice fodder is actually polyberry oil and plant fiber and in the assembler we can make this polyberry oil so polyberry oil is going to be something we need a lot of so the best thing is to have multiple farms for that so let's make another small plot Why does it not build? Is it because of these things? Yeah. Oh, look, we get extra resources now with the keen eye. That is awesome. There we go, it, it triggered, it procced. That is awesome, I love that. Um, we can make good use of this. No. Now I'm gonna go into here. And put these two as. Um, yeah. Oh, you can build the farmhouse. Yeah, we're going to build the barn now in a minute uh, just to see what it's like. I think we can build the barn. We will have the resources. And we have a lot of money so we can actually see what the... Um... Oh, irrigation fertilizer. Oh my god, there's multiple options as well. Um, okay, let me go here. Oh, I have the wheat seeds. Why can I not? Okay, do you know what? Let's move this out. Okay, so let's head over here. Let's see what we can buy. I bet I have just the Oh my god, game. look at that. We got new parts, hot rod engines. That is so awesome. Yeah. Sorry, bye. Sold. Bye. Coming right up. Uh, bye. Nice choice. Bye. Coming right up. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna get another nine seeds so we can get the show on the road with the weed. Coming right up. Uh, multiple arrow signs, sure. Deal. Um, Coming right up. So she doesn't seem to sell nice anything choice. you don't have access to anyway. Yeah. So, I don't see any gems here. The pine we have access to in this. Okay. And... Look at this. The polyberry oil is actually very expensive. So, we could sell... Um, Bye now! Well, I don't know if it's worth it, but... Like, selling these is 41 each, but selling this... Oh, it's only 37. But sometimes you get two. So if you could increase the chance of getting two per craft, then you can make more money. Okay, so now uh, let's... Let me take all that. Um, oh, no, we can't. Yeah, ugh, okay, um, So 
So these things sell for 51 and 49. Okay, so that could be lucrative possibly. Um, let's make another one here and um, then after four, we're gonna start going up or something. It doesn't matter. So now let's. Great shot! Excellent. Let's um, have a look and see what we need for the barn. This is actually pretty cool. Um, the barn is here. Ten wood and two aluminum rods, which we actually have. So, ten wood. Is it two? I think it's two. Yeah. Now, this is a big boy. This is a big thing. So, we're going to put it uh, over here. Yeah, we need to clear the area a bit and then. Or maybe we just put it here for now. There we go. Okay, so, but what can we do in the barn? Is that for animals? Oh, that would be so awesome if we could actually breed and not breed, but like have animals to give us resources. So what's the barn for? Oh, improves the efficiency of crafting constru uh, of crafting constructs built inside. Oh, okay. So no, this can't go there. So you can see some buildings just it won't go there like the work shed obviously can't go there actually the work shed seems to be able to go in what so that makes no sense because you see the line the line usually means it's something that uh, benefits it or something we have the upgrade depot I think we crafted everything else. Oh yeah, so we can put multiple things in here as well. Well, we're gonna, yeah, this is something uh, on release we're gonna have to work out. So, obnoxious pods. There you go. Oh, a power core. Oh, awesome. A new recipe uncovered. Um, where's all the other noxious pores? I thought I crafted multiple. Oh, I crafted a power core already. Okay, so for that we can go the advanced furnace. Spike saw damage uh, two. Okay. Then we have one left, which can be strange fence, strange chair, strange signpost, basically strange things. Okay. All very weird. Um, is the barn just an upgraded shed? Could be. Could be. Morning. Hope you had a good night's sleep. Stop those uh, here we go. Noxious bubbles incoming. Nice. You've really got an eye for that kind of thing. I don't like the look of this. Okay, let me actually, before they destroy my farms, let me harvest all that. Oh, shit. Oh, we need a hose for that. Oh, of course, yes. Ah, oh, crap. And the bubbles we can suck up then? No, irrigation hose. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Give me a second. Oh, crap. 
We have to upgrade our hose to carry more water. Oh my god, yeah, we definitely have to somehow protect our farm better. Great job. Holy crap. I'm glad I harvested our farm because they actually would have destroyed the crop. I think the barn is an upgraded shed, but seeing that we can build, I wonder if we can double double the efficiency by putting the shed inside the barn and then putting stuff inside the shed inside the barn. What do you have for me today? Hola. See anything oh my like? god, a dog topiary. Look at this. It looks so cute. Oh my god, pig, hedge. Okay, sorry. Like, yeah. yeah get all of that. King. Coming right up. No, not that. Coming right up. That is so. so awesome. There's always something new she's selling. That is so sweet. Um, let's actually do the, the mech quickly. You just have to do yourself. Hot rod. Oh. They get destroyed if they fall out. Oh no, okay. Oh, one got destroyed. Yeah, the windshield. Oh, look at that. Nice. Revved up and ready to go. Look at that, baby. Hot rod action. Actually, let me walk a little bit over to the barn. Oh, you can even change the time of day? Oh, that is so cool. Cinematic mode? <laughs> they have so many options here, it's crazy. And um, where's the stamp thing? Yeah, there we go. Pity you can't move the stump left or right, that would be nice. Or up or down, that would be sweet, you know, to move it down. Um, 
Yeah, can't really do that. That would be sweet though. Something like that. Yeah, it's brilliant the way you can make screenshots with that is just awesome. Yeah, the native jelly are fighting back against the intruders, yeah. So anyway, this was for the demo. I think we, we, we spent a fair amount of time. We spent about two hours on the demo. Um, there's nothing more new to come in the demo except obviously that we can um, you know craft some more things that we haven't crafted before now we, we can try to make a shed um, inside the, 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 the barn to see if we get um, more uh, higher speed or something for crafting there the higher efficiency model Oh, we got a yellow tree sprout. Okay. That's new. Um, yellow tree sprout. And now we could theoretically... this inside here Hang on. it worked a second ago there look at that that is crazy okay and now we could build oil presser which way around this way around oil presser in there Now, I wonder, does it benefit from both? Oh, we need more wood. Okay, let me get more wood. The mech cosmetics are really interesting. I like it, yeah. And I, I'm, I'm usually not much for decorating, but when you can place all these things, like the hatches into a nice big area, I think it's a lovely little touch and it makes your place look really nice. So this whole thing is obviously about making money in that sense, you know, that um, maybe you can even find ways to defend your crops automatically in case you're not there. Because I'm assuming when you're at the other end of the map sleeping somewhere and you get attacked here that, you know, that would be very hard to, to manage. So now... How efficient is this? So... So the, the efficiency thing means that every now and then we have a chance of getting duplicate items. And um, I wonder if now we have, uh, you see the, high, the chance isn't higher. I guess um, duplicates while crafting because we're inside the workbench inside the shed and both the shed and the workbench add to the efficiency but it seems that only one efficiency is added and it's not multiplicative Does that make sense yeah it just that's it yeah it's not actually working double double so I was hoping that we now get every single time a double craft. So I can see, uh, you, you, okay, the barn makes sense because um, if the barn is literally, like you can see, the barn has four sheds basically, yeah. Um, what happens if I destroy the shed without the... These guys still will create double results every now and then, I would say. Maybe 
Maybe it did have a bonus. I don't know. See if we get any doubles now. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to have an impact. So I'm assuming the barn, like you said, is an upgraded shed because now you have a barn where you have basically the equivalent of four sheds. And now you can move things, you can decorate, maybe you can put things on the shelves as well. That would be pretty sweet. So if you like have the sack here, can you put it on the shelf? No. I suppose you can decorate your barn then with these type of things as well. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. This was a really good look at Lightyear Frontiers. We looked at pretty much uh, what the game is planning uh, to offer it seems to be a very interesting gameplay loop it reminds me a lot of um, in a way of slime rancher i know we don't use slimes here but instead we actually farming crop it's a farming sim but you farm you sell you buy things resources from the trader it's all about making money you have your um, your economy um, board which is similar to slime rancher where you can see the different prices for things so knowing for example that blue cauliflower uh, color flowers went up you're gonna plant multiple of them make sure you harvest them so i'm assuming they will do they not grow here for pickup you see i don't want to destroy them yet i'm gonna wait until the morning but like say for example um yeah let's really quickly uh, plant those guys for uh, two weeds and we have two of those okay so if we go uh, we go here nope yeah Yeah, just let me get uh, more water and then when we move on to the next day we can sell a lot to our do do this there coming in so and it reminds me also of scrap mechanic because i think in scrap mechanic you have a similar thing where you plant things that should keep it good until tomorrow. and um then on the next day you sometimes get attacked yeah so i think it's very similar uh, to both of these games which is nice and i like the way you can build all these structures here which is similar in slime rancher you had the different uh, containers you build you know to, to help you do things but this is obviously more i suppose reality ground based where you build machines to craft certain things for you and yeah, we can also make nice fodder now. Yeah, that's very really good. There you go, nice fodder. So we can feed the poor little uh, creatures in the pine heights. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the stream and it gave you a good idea what the game is about. And I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for it. I like those kind of relaxing games um, in between the stressy ones that I play. So I'm definitely looking wakey, forward to wakey, this. Partner. That mech of yours is oh, looking yes. good today. Look, Those modifications did grow. you did yesterday really paid off. So we, they will take a, f a while to grow, actually. So I wonder if instead of destroying, you can just pick from them. Then. That is pretty cool. Oh, it's actually easier if you have a little bit of a distance. And then you just replant them straight away. Wait to see it grow so this obviously has to be able to be improved much faster at some point um, with upgrades. 
uh, that you saw earlier and that means you're gonna be able to make like tons of money and I'm hoping uh, she comes back then in the real game with like loads of things that cost so much money that you have to make like really big farms you know and uh, find rare resources that you could farm or something like that and yeah it's very addictive it's very, it's very hard to stop high. so it's a very um, relaxing kind of way of playing so anyway if you could leave a like on the way out that would be appreciated and I see you guys uh, tomorrow with not sure yet what was but we might have a quick look in the afternoon at um, Diablo 3 season 3 uh, Diablo 4 season 3 which is actually really fun it's absolutely amazing so many enemies to destroy it's, it's, it has been a blast so far for me. so but anyway I'm gonna leave it here so thank you very much and to then have a good night stay safe bye bye